Hello, I'm Jo and I'm your mystery reader today. Um, you may have seen me if you've ever went out and visited the Prairie Wetlands Learning Center. That's where I work. And the book I'm sharing with you today is An Egg is Quiet. Think about that for a moment. Do you agree? Do you think an egg is quiet? Now I think this is a great book to be reading right now because if you have been watching at what is going on outside, you may be noticing that there are birds building nests, birds sitting on nests. We have birds already with their young taking care of them. You may have seen some goslings um, on Lake Alice. Um, so we're going to learn a little bit more about eggs and some words that can be used to describe eggs. And this book is by Deanna Aston and Sylvia Long. One thing I absolutely love about this book is the illustrations. These pictures are awesome. The detail and the color is just beautiful. An egg is quiet. It sits there under its mother's feathers on top of its father's feet Buried beneath the sand, warm, cozy. An egg is colorful. Check out all of those different colors of eggs. Now in this picture you see turkey, a turkey egg. You know what a turkey is. We have a great blue heron egg. We have a blue jay egg, a robin egg, but it's not just birds that lay eggs. We have a salmon egg, a crab egg. We even have a field cricket egg. And look at, what, does it, what shape does that look like? It looks just like a banana. An egg is shapely. There are round eggs, like the sea turtle. There are oval eggs, like the beetle. There are pointy eggs, like this bird called the common muir. And there are even tubular eggs, like the ones the dogfish lay. An egg is clever. The markings on some eggs help them blend in with their surroundings. This is called camouflage. Camouflage is a way an egg can hide. An egg might be speckled to resemble the rocks around it, or it might be gray, the color of mud by a lake. An egg does not want to be eaten by a raccoon or a snake or a fox or an insect. So in this picture, we have an egg hiding right here. Look at that camouflage. Eggs come in different sizes. Here we have an ostrich egg, and it can weigh as much as eight pounds. It's so big and so round, it takes two hands to hold one egg. A hum or hummingbird eggs are the size of a jelly bean. It would take about 2,000 hummingbird eggs to equal the size of one ostrich egg. An egg is artistic. Look at all of these different colors and patterns of these eggs. They're kind of like a work of art.
An egg is textured. There are hard eggs, soft eggs, gooey eggs. Who would lay a gooey egg? This egg is laid by the leopard frog. There are smooth eggs and rough eggs. An egg might even be fossilized. So an egg could be covered with soil and after a long time become really hard and become a fossil. An egg is given. An egg gives the little creature growing inside it everything it needs. The shell is its home. The yolk is its food. The egg white or albumen is its pillow. The shell is covered with teeny tiny holes which allow air to enter. Look how amazing and look at the change. That little animal growing inside that egg over time, how that changes. An egg is quiet. Now look at this egg. Do you see the feet standing next to the egg? So it says an egg is quiet. Then Suddenly, an egg is noisy. We have a crunch crunch, a cheep cheep, and a peep peep. These eggs have all hatched. Now, if you know of any nests around your area in your yard or in your community at a park, it's always best to keep a good distance from them and let wildlife do their thing. But it would be a good idea to walk by and see if you notice that nest going from being quiet to noisy. Another thing, if you want, if you'd like to draw, if you like to work with color, if you like to use paints, markers, colored pencils, or crayons, I want you to imagine and think up your own egg and draw that on a piece of paper. First, what would the shape be? Would it be a round egg? Would it be pointy? What kind of colors would you use? What kind of patterns? Awesome. Well, thank you for joining in. I hope you enjoyed and learned a little bit about eggs. See ya.